friends, this is Martin Gresco, the Piano Pro here. This is part two of a four part video series. We're looking at When I Call Your Name by Vince Gill. In the first video, we cover the introduction. And in the second video, we're going to cover the first verse and the second verse. Uh, the first verse, uh, you will notice that all of the fills are going to happen at the end of uh, the phrase. That is when the singer is not singing. Uh, and so typically the, the phrases are going to be four bars. And so the, the licks will all actually fall in bar four uh, for each line of the verse. And then on the second verse, uh, that's just a, a chording pattern. And so we'll talk about each of these uh, as they come up. All right, so the very first lick, um, and you will notice on the video uh, that I added some just extra chords while the, the music's playing because there's a bass, a uh, rhythm guitar, and drums. And you'll notice that I uh, basically, I'm kind of holding a chord. And I'm only doing that just to kind of pad and fill in the sound. Uh, and if I'm playing live, I'm very, uh, very soft with it, not very aggressive at all, especially because it's going to be my turn to take the piano fills here in just a moment, and I want those to stand out. All right, so the first piano fill is going to start on the C below middle C, then there's a D, then an F, and then you're going to uh, slide, this is that bent note, that Nashville sound that everybody likes, the A flat to the A, but the, the A will be played at the same time as a C. Then G, then F. So the lick very slowly is, again, So in tempo, it is one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, the second lick, again, happening in the fourth uh, measure of line two, uh, is going to be on a C chord. And I'm going to use my thumb to play these Cs, and mainly that's just to keep the lick smooth. And so uh, the lick is going to consist of E, A, and C. I'm going to move up and hit F, B flat, D. I'm going to come back down and hit E, A, and C again. Then I'm going to hit D, G, B flat. And I'm going to put the C between each one of them like this. So the only one the C didn't go between was, was between the F, B flat, D, and that one. So we have. Now, we're going to color that up just a little bit again by adding that bent note. And so when we play E, A, C, we're going to slide that uh, A flat into the A. Coming back down, we're going to do it again. Do not play it, uh, do not bend notes on this chord or on this one. All right, so it will be. One more time. And in tempo, that is one, two, three, one. And then you'll resolve it, of course, onto a C, an F, and an A. That's an F chord. That takes us into the third line of the verse. And the next fill, you guessed it, is going to happen in measure four of this line at the end. And this lick starts on beat two. And it is. That's a D and an F together. Hold the F with your pinky. Hit the C. Then strike both again. Got that, D and F together. Hold your pinky, come down to the C. Strike the D and F again. And 
bend to make it Nashville, of course we're going to do a bent note. So you're going to take a D flat. And then the next lick is going to be. And we'll let go of that C when we get down to the F. Uh, I'll explain why in just a second. So you have. That's an A flat into the A. And you're holding the C. Then G, still hanging on to the C, and then hit an F. And I'm letting go of the C. And the reason I let go of that C is because uh, this ends at the very end of beat three and immediately we're into a B flat and I don't want to be hanging on to the C uh, because we need a pure B flat chord there. All right, so in tempo that would be one, two, three, one. And you can hang on to the F of course because F belongs in F or it also fits in B flat. So not a problem there. All right, the very last lick of this verse is going to happen again in beat four, the fourth line. And this is very similar to what we had in the introduction where we had the rocking. Only this time, instead of making the sweet Adeline walk down, we're just gonna land on E, G, and C. One more time slower. And then right before we go into verse two, we're going to play the C below middle C, middle C, and the high C. So in tempo, that would sound like this. One, two, three, one, two. And then we're on to verse two. And uh, I've got some notation uh, that'll be in the transcript for you. Uh, but in terms of playing the uh, second verse, there are all kinds of ways that you could place your chords here. And what you will see in the transcript may be actually different from what I just played. Uh, but you're going to take, uh, remember you've got a bass player. So when, I, when you see me play my left hand, when you see me play it, it's very light. And in a song this slow, uh, probably not too dangerous for me to do that because we're not doing a lot of alternating, uh, well, uh, n no alternating as a matter of fact. So we're just hitting the root of the chord. So there's not a real chance I'm going to conflict with the bass player. And then you're going to take the right hand and you're going to take, uh, uh, in this case, I've got an A and then a C and then an F. And then uh, these are called uh, swinging eighths rather than steady eighth notes. So you swing them like this. And uh, you follow the chord structure of the song and you can uh, finish playing out the second verse. Then at the very end of the second verse, um, we're going to do that sweet Adeline lick. You'll be keeping the rhythm. Getting ready to go into the chorus here. So that was the sweet Adeline lick, E, A, C, E flat, A flat, B, D, G, B flat, C, F, A flat. And then I did a little walk up at the same time. C, D, E, F. Okay, so that is part two. Just uh, replay this video, stop it as often as you need to, and just remember at the end of uh, Video four, I'm going to make a transcript available of all of the written music that I've shared with you uh, and, the, and the notes to these videos. Listen, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.